people just can't stand them. Like, it's it's really hit or miss with people, I suppose. I mean, I, I would assume most people would, wouldn't would mind them at the rate, like, people are like, Oh man, I miss your target rants, I miss, you know, these rants. Which, coincidentally, it was fine when I bitched about Target and my managers and the dumb shoppers and all that, but, you know, when I'm doing this now and I complain about kind of relatively the same thing, it's it's different. I guess I can I can kind of see why I mean the shoppers paid my salary even though it was really really low at Target because you know nine dollars an hour does not put much food on the table but uh you know people who watch my stuff pay pay my bills people who shopped at Target paid my bills so I mean is it gonna be like well you can't complain about anything cuz they technically pay you but it's like well some of them are just douches I'm sorry like I have to complain about them sometimes they're just dicks for no reason, and it makes me sad inside, and I can't do it anymore. Apparently there was a green switch palace that I missed. Oh wow, that was a really quick castle. Holy hell. Look at this fat guy. Where's Boom Boom at when you need him? This is ridiculous. Come on. He doesn't even move faster. Look, I'll take him from behind. I'll take him from behind. I took him from behind. Mario got him. He got him. But there's my little rant about stuff. I mean, I, I get people will say, like, oh, it's an easy job. Like, this. Being able to talk to yourself is an easy job. Which I won't say, I won't argue that it's not easy to me now. But not all people are going to be able to do it. Not all people can work at Target and not get fired because of, you know, lack of work ethic or whatever. It just depends what you are and what you get good at. Morton Koopa has been defeated, and the second baby Yoshi egg is now on safe hands. Mario's next stop is the Charming Emerald Forest. What kind of dangers wait await to him there? Okay, great. So now we're moving into a Forest of Illusion type thing. Which I'm not too happy about. I hate the Forest of Illusion and Forest of Illusion type levels. I really don't like them, but Gino's Gino's Forest music makes it all better, I think. But in comparing to Target to this, I would say that this is the easier or Target would be the easier job. Because with this it took a lot of sitting down and and learning stuff and trying to get better at talking to yourself which is actually a very odd thing to have to do it is incredibly awkward to try and do it first like if you go check my early videos it just sounds bad and it sounded bad for for months months and months it sounded bad until you finally just get to that point where it's it's smooth transition some people can come out of the gate strong some people don't some people it takes a while for them to get better some people never get better it took me a little bit to get better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that much. Like some people will argue, like, "Oh, you still fucking suck." Well, cool, thanks, man. I, I love your input, but I'm gonna say I'm at least decent. But I would say Target was, was the more, was the easier job, considering you know you have to, you have to learn what you need for this. You have to learn how to, how to record the stuff. You have to learn, you know, what headset you might need. You have to know how to, how to work Vegas or. Premiere or Windows Movie Maker, whatever the hell it is, possible, which is kind of easy. Um, Vegas and Premiere are a little bit harder, and Camtasia is a little bit more difficult depending on what you want to do, and it's just a regular bonus thing. They're not the hardest things to learn, just for you know basic editing and rendering, stuff like that. And then someone went on to compare, like, oh, you know, he does the easy mode YouTube, where it doesn't take much skill to do it. And you know, Freddy W. Those are the those are the big guys with with a lot of skill, and and they're the ones who are who would actually call this a job. Like I'm not gonna argue that it doesn't take a lot of skill to do what Freddy W. does. That that is impressive stuff right there. I am very impressed by what he does. And if you've never seen any of his stuff, then I don't know like where you've been. Like you should have at least seen a couple of his videos. Like you don't need to love the guy. You don't need to be watching all of his videos. But most people are gonna have run into one or two of his videos and they're really good like it, it would it would take a lot of knowledge on filming and you know using after effects stuff like that that is very commendable i i would agree on that but just to say you know oh that's harder than than this which is obvious that is much more difficult than this is i mean, it's not like it makes it any less uh of a job I guess I hate I hate using it as a job it technically is a job and I hate when the big B word is thrown around as a business because then people really get the big S word going in sellout but you know 
I have expenses, I make money, that's, that's kind of what it's turned into. I don't like to see it as that, but I don't wake up and I'm like, well, time to run a business, I'm gonna put on my suit and do some commentaries. I just fucking get up and talk to myself or talk to Nova or the other creatures and and just try to have fun and entertain people. And that's, that's basically what I try to do. I'm not trying to say, you know, I'm better than anyone, I'm not trying to say anything. I try to be humble about what I do until someone's a complete dickbag to me. And in that case, I kind of become a dickbag back, like in this big dickbag rant. And I just successfully used dickbag in three times in one minute. So I feel good. I just got a 40. I didn't want a 40. I don't want no 40. But yeah, I mean, when you compare, you compare what I do to Freddy W., yeah, of course, he takes a lot more skill and that's a lot more entertaining. I guess it depends on who you are. Like, someone could easily say I'm more entertaining than Freddy W. I wouldn't agree, but, you know, if you don't like special effects and stuff like that, and you just like video games, he's done some video game stuff. Like, he did, uh, I think he did a Metal Gear Solid video. I know he did a Mario video. I think he did a, did he do a Minecraft video? I think he did. That is an arrow, so that's great. We probably need a P-Switch or something here. Oh, great. What is this? What are you? Let me see. Point of advice, the mist hides the door to King Boo's room from sight. Look for subtle changes in the haunted garden. Oh, I hate these. Ah, I hate these. Look for subtle changes. Okay, subtle changes. I know there was an arrow. There was like a little arrow of coins. What the hell it... Oh, shit. Oh, man, I almost... I almost... I... I'm trying to look like really hard, because there's probably like a, a slightly invisible door somewhere, and... That's gonna make me very upset, is what it's gonna do. Until I find this damn thing. But yeah, there is, uh... Let's see what we got here. I'm trying to look for this door. I'm trying to see if it's like a... A little shadow somewhere? So I don't, I don't know. There was this arrow, like, right here. There was an arrow, like, right here. And I, I don't know. I'm just gonna kill myself and come back in. Oh, these ghost houses, man. I... These ghost houses and I, we don't get along. That is pretty much my half hour rant on why some people are stupid and why everyone's not stupid and if I call someone stupid and you're not being stupid then you shouldn't take it to heart and yell at me about something stupid. So stupid, 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 there you go. Look, there's like a little, this is an arrow. This has to be an arrow. I swear that is an arrow and it's telling me to like go back this way. Subtle changes, I, I really hope. Like I, I have no idea. There's a door around here somewhere, and I really don't like... Like, I'm trying to lean in all close and shit to see if I can find, like, a little tiny outline. Like, I, I really hope it's not behind one of these trees. I, I really... I really don't, man. That would, that would be... That would be nasty bad. I, I hate when they do that. Ugh, shit. What is this? This kind of... Yeah, there's like... Oh, damn it. They're all like lines of coins until they get to here, and then it's like, oh, what is this? Like, I don't understand these coin thingies. I don't, I don't understand if they're supposed to be telling me where to go or, you know, what have you. Oh boy, this sucks. I don't think I'm ever gonna find this thing. I, I really don't think so. Like, I'm. Damn it. Yeah, this blows. I ran right into that, so let's run a little bit further this time. Uh, Stop running. I'm trying to avoid death there. Now where in Carmen San Diego is this damn door at? Here? No. That was wishful thinking. Whoa, what where is this at? Hold the phone here. Oh, there's a P switch. There's a I didn't go in this door last time, did I? Ah, look at this. Look at this door right here. Where does this go? Oh, come, don't even, you gotta be kidding me. This just goes back to here? Are you for reals in me on this one? You are, you are really for reals in me on this one, aren't you? You guys suck, I'm going back in here. Is there, is there like a second door? Like, here's, here's one door. Okay, no, that just, so this is just coins? Where does this door go? Do they both go to the same place? Oh, you trolling son of a bitch. Are you kidding me? I don't know where this door is at. Where? Why would you do this to me? I think this resets the coins. I can't be sure. Huh. Alright, let me go back. Is there an invisible wall here? Damn it! Why? 
Why do you do these things to me? It's always the ghost house. Always. And someone, I know someone watching the video is like, I already found it. He's so fucking stupid because he didn't see it. It's so obvious that one of the branches had an extra leaf on it. I'm gonna look for that now. I'm gonna look for that one branch with two... Look at this. There's, there's a dual-sided one here. What is this? Why is this here? It points... Yeah, this this thing is pointing at that, and it's got like... Yeah, that's that's got like a dual-sided branch. Why has it got two branches, huh? What? Why do you have two branches? That thing... That's gotta be it. That's gotta be something. I wanna find that box again. Where the hell is that box at again? I'm going through you. Is there is there any other tree with two branches on it, like side by side? Like there was the one over there, but they weren't side by side. And then that one, and then these two, and I don't. I think one of these didn't have a branch back there. You son of a bitch, ghost. You son of a bitch, ghost. Why? How did you do this to me? So basically, what I'm gonna be doing is just stopping this and looking for the exit. And if I can't find it, then I'll just. Oh, here we are. This is something. This just gives me a mushroom. Let's see. The mist hides the door to King Boo's room from sight. Look for subtle changes in the haunted garden. Okay, do both of these doors lead to the same place? That leads there. And this leads seemingly to the same place. Well, I'm gonna look for this on my own, and if I find it, I'll come back, and if not, someone point me in the right direction. So I am back, and boy, do you have to look for a subtle change. Remember this wall that I tried to jump through? Well, we can jump through it now, and that is because this wall only opens up because it brings you to an identical area. However, this wall has a hole in it in a different area. If you don't go through a door, you will not have that wall there, or you will have that wall there, sorry. Oh, that's a fake one, All right. That wall will be there unless you go through one of the specific doors. If you don't, that wall... I just confused myself again. Oh boy, alright, scratch everything I just said, because I, I honestly don't know what I said, but if you go through a door, <clears throat> the wall will disappear, however, if you don't go through one of the doors, the wall will still be there, and when I tried to jump through the wall, more than likely that wall was there, meaning I couldn't go through it, and that is why, uh, I guess I didn't see it last time, that or I just jumped in the wrong spot, but I'm going to assume that the wall was still closed off, and that's just great, so... Now that that's mopped up, no one has to tell me where to go because I found it, and always check your walls, kids. 